I am sitting with uh, Mark Dirks, who's the Regional Sales Director for Axon. Um, we are in Qatar at the Oryx Rojana for the Professional Seminar Series. Mark, can you tell us a little bit about how the Professional Seminar Series was actually conceived and how it has helped this market? Okay, now actually we did start it last year. Um, we figured out that in this market uh, we think there's a need for knowledge. Yeah. Uh, many broadcasters struggle with the transition to high definition, with the transition to uh, Dolby Digital Audio, uh, and these kind of things, uh, we thought we, um, we should help. We should help the people and put up some seminars um, in order to, um, to increase the knowledge in general. Um, so um, we talked to Tektronix and we talked to Dolby, those are good friends in the industry, and uh, we decided last year to put up a seminar in Dubai. Right. Um, which turned out to be extremely successful. We had a big turnout. I don't remember exactly how many people showed up there, but that was really great. So we decided to uh, to continue this. Yeah. So now for this year, uh, we have scheduled one in Doha, which we are actually doing now. Uh, next week we are in Dubai, and in September we do a similar seminar in Istanbul. Right. How many people have you seen today at the workshop? I think today the turnout was about 30, 30, 30 yeah. people, yeah, that's yeah. my guess. Yeah. And I'm assuming most of them are from the broadcast uh, facilities here? Mainly there, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What has been the feedback you have received so far? What, what has, where has the interest been? What uh, topics? We, we had a presentation about aspect ratio conversion, which is a big issue. Yeah. There's a lot of confusion about this subject. Um, that was perceived very well, yeah. um, as far as I understood from the people. Yeah. Um, also, Dolby, they had um, a good explanation about how to implement uh, Dolby Digital Audio in the infrastructure. Um, so, I feel that um, the, the whole thing is perceived really well. Okay. Yeah. You mentioned aspect ratio, and I know that aspect ratio has always been an issue in this part of the world, if not in other parts of the world. Not only in this part of the world, <laughs> it's, it's an issue anywhere. Okay. Um, it's quite a confusing, confusing subject. Yeah. Um, and of course, it has to do with the transition to high definition. Right. Um, traditionally, uh, SD is in 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Um, and then, um, about 10 years ago in Europe, we converted to 69, but still in SD. Uh, but many broadcasters made already the decision to, to, um, to change their aspect ratio to yeah. 16 by 9. Yeah. Um, and once you've done that, the transition to high definition is quite easy. Uh, because aspect ratio conversion is actually the biggest problem that you have to deal with if you do the transition to So how do most broadcasters um, uh, address that issue? I mean obviously you can't convert what you've already got so you have to create a whole lot of new content. Yeah, you have to, of course the new content should be in, in, uh, in 16 by 9 Yeah. Uh, but all, always there's old uh, archive material and old stock material um, that needs to be rebroadcasted or needs to convert it to 169. And then. Um, will that not cause distortion? Um, if you do it wrong, it will. Okay. Um, but there's, there's a couple of ways you can do this uh, aspect ratio conversion. Um, you can convert a 4x3 into a pillar box. Right. Actually, what you see then is two black bars, left and right, on your screen. Uh, alternatively, you could kind of zoom into your picture, yeah. but then, of course, on top and bottom, on bottom, you lose part of it. So it's always a compromise, yeah. and that's why we say the better you can uh, uh, acquire your, your your video in 69, yeah. uh, the, the earlier you can do that, the better it is. Right. I'm assuming that this uh, series is also happening tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. We have okay. two days. Uh, tomorrow we have exactly the same schedule and the same presentations, yeah. but different guests. Right. So how has this collaboration worked? Obviously, I mean, usually most manufacturers tend to do individual uh, road shows. Yes. But you've chosen to collaborate with some of your partners. Yeah, I mean, there is some synergy. Yeah? I mean, we are not competitors. Yeah. We are colleagues. Yeah. Uh, we operate in the same field yeah. uh, with different uh, different pieces of equipment. And so you're in part, different parts of the workflow. Yes, yeah. exactly. And Tektronix is very much into measurements. Uh, Dolby, of course, is into audio, and we are in video processing. So yeah. uh, we can help each other. 
and we create uh, synergy like this. Excellent. Thank you, Mark. You're most welcome.